this video, we're going to be talking about the Coral Cuts QF from Sandvik Coralment. I'm joined by Lee and we're going to be talking about it. So Lee, tell us more. Okay, so Coral Cut QF, it's been designed from the ground up to be a purely for face grooving. Um, as you can see from the, from the tool, um, the design's quite um, unique. It's very different to what you see on the market. So we've added extra clearance on the bottom of the tool. Um, also, all the inserts are handed. So you have a for clockwise or counterclockwise rotation, then you, you each in each inserts individual. So, of course, we have these in a wide range of um, sizes now, from three to eight millimeters. Um, but what makes it really unique is the way that each tool has under and over coolant as standard. And it's the only system on the market that has that as standard. Okay, you mentioned right at the very beginning, this has been developed from the ground up. Yeah. Am I correct in saying traditionally you've taken, well, manufacturers take an existing product and just adapt it for face grooving? Yeah, I mean, we, we've done the same thing. Um, we, we basically have a system for pine and grooving and, and you just adapt it and put a sweep on the blade and say this is a face grooving concept. But it has its own um, difficulties with face grooving. So if you had a clean sheet of paper, it's about designing a concept that's going to work well in all face grooving applications. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I've done face grooving from an application perspective, the number one variable is the chattering, isn't it? The vibration, the harmonics. Yep. So how have you overcome this with this new system? Well, by, by changing the, the, the design of the clamping, we actually move the shear plane of the um, clamping across an angle. So that creates much more support on the, underneath the tool. That gets away from the from the mm. um, vibration. It makes makes it much more rigid, much more stable concept. And when you add that in with the the twin rail design that's carried across from QD, we also have a, an extra rail on the back of the insert. And you can see from behind here, we've taken the QD concept, made a smaller insert to give you extra clearance, and then you get this this triple twin rail design. So it gives you a very very stable um, insert interface with the tool. Also, when you're clamping the tool, clamping the insert, we have this um, cam system where you're at 90 degrees, clamp and unclamp, so it's very, very easy. So you don't have any screw in this area to, to complicate the, the clamping design. And you can see here a much, much bigger cross-sectional area for support. And all this means that we can go much deeper with face grooving now as standard. Yeah, and I know the, the, the reverse, this has been modified where it's been completely redesigned, hasn't it? Yeah, well, if we look at if we look at the SL, the uh, serrated lock coupling, here we have the the, uh, the coupling on, on, on the back of the tool rather than on the side as it used to be in the past. This makes for torque transmission through the through the tool much much better. But also, as as a consequence of that, we can actually now put it onto a, a, a tuned or a damped boring bar, and we can machine face screws down deep bores without any vibration and give give process security. And that's really the key message. The stability of the system, giving really good process security, allows us to have much better tool life in face grooving applications. Does it affect productivity or are we talking stability and tool life? Well, obviously productivity is key for customers. And with this system, obviously the feeds, the feeds that you can actually achieve are much better. So when you're opening out a groove, for instance, mm. the, first, the first plunge we go in at around about 0.1 millimetres of rev and then you start to get chip control then as we start to open the groove out. And as you open the groove out, we push the feed rate by, you know, we, by another 30%. So we go up to maybe 1.15 millimeters of rev and start to get chip control as you're going down the groove. With Sandvik Coralment, when you release a product, traditionally there's lots of grades, there's lots of chip breakers. Is yeah. it the same? Exactly the same, Joe. We have, we have all the um, geometries that we need for face grooving. And because the system's more reliable, more safe, we can actually use some of the harder grades in this area as well. Mm. So in the HRSA materials, for instance, we use some really hard grades in this, in this, and it works extremely well with the chip control. We also have a range of different chip breakers. So we have the TF, which is designed for most face grooving applications that you're gonna come across. But also we have a, a GF, which is a ground um, uh, insert for face grooving. And we have now the round insert for profiling. And because you've got this triple rail design, it's very, very stable for sideways turning and for profiling. So using some of the, you know, the non-linear tool paths that's out there on the cam systems, this will work extremely well in those areas. Are there any limitations to the systems? Are there any type of machine it, would, it wouldn't cater for? 
Not really. It can go on in pretty much any any tool, machine tool, and that's the beauty of the system. So we have the QS shank, which are used in most lathe tools, and of course with the SL coupling, that can go on to um, adapters on any machine. We also in this in this last product launch that we've just just come out with Coromant Capto as standard tools, and again all the features that you see with the over and under coolant as standard is carried over into those tools. Very comprehensive range. Thank you, Ian. Another fabulous product from Sandvik Coromant.